This is a box from Ben, Zach, Ben, M, D, Val, Op, Ers. It's a box of Ben's like denim developers. Den M. It's a big, big box of Ben's like denim developers. Denim. Could also be a Pandora's box. Because this was the first time I've done something like this. You see, this will be the first time that a brand, I mean, Ben's out denim developers in this case, this is the first time that a brand will actually be paying me money to review their products. Okay, I don't need this up here right now. You see, in the past, I mean, I have received products for free in exchange for a review. And one of them was actually a Ben's Eye Denim Developers piece, the, the Sherpa jacket from, from last year. And it's certainly not the first time that I've been offered money in exchange for a review. For this, this first category, the free stuff, I hope I've been open, honest, and, and clear enough with, with you guys to know when I got a product for free. And when this happens, I mean, yeah, I'm certainly very, very grateful to the, to the store or to the brand for, for sending me along the product. But, and this is a big but here, I'm, I'm very, very careful with, with what I say yes to. I'm careful with this because I, I think naturally you, you tend to feel, even if it's subconsciously, a sense of, of obligation to, to whatever it might be, to say nice things, say positive things about whatever this is. I think this just comes naturally with the territory and it can be quite an easy trap to fall into. The second category here, Paid offers to do a review of a product. Now, I've turned these down each and every time. There's a couple of reasons for this. The first and the most, I think the most important one is that it was always for, for products that I just, I couldn't recommend. And the payment strongly implied and at times contractually insisted that I would say good things about them, that I would, I would portray them in a positive light. I would hope by now that, that everything that I've put out there so far, I hope that's built a little bit of trust between us. And they want to, to pay me to, to break that trust, to, to buy some credibility for their, their substandard product. That would be a very short-sighted approach and in fact wholly counterproductive. So why am I doing this one? Well, first thing is that the founder of Benzac Denim Developers, Leonard, He's a mate, he's actually a very good mate. And now you're probably thinking, huh, you're a pretty shit friend for charging your buddy money. Well, Benzac is a business. They, they make jeans and they sell jeans. The money they make from the business allows them to stay in business and to continue developing denim. CRD is also a business, it's, it's my business. I make videos about denim and, and other things. And the income that I make through, through AdSense or affiliate links or now doing stuff like this that allows me to, to continue making videos. It was actually Len who, who reached out and asked me or, or offered me this deal. He wants, to get the, he wants to get the story behind the products and the products themselves and the details of those products in front of the right audience. So you guys. And he's, he's happy to pay for that service. There's another big reason why I said yes to this particular deal. Remember I was talking about the, the expectation of, of having to say nice things about something that something that you're getting paid for. I think this is a very real dilemma from, from me with my, my very modest audience to, to like the really, really big guys. I noticed this when I was doing the research on, on just this topic for, for this video. In this case, this expectation, it's, it's null and void. For one thing, Len would never ever expect that. He's, he's Dutch, he's mildly Asperger's, which, well, those two things combine to the most direct person I know. And he appreciates this directness in return. If something is shit, he expects to be told that it's shit. But I know the brand, I know the product, and I've known it for a very, very long time. And I know that I just won't have to say bad things about it. I've not even taken these things out of the bags yet. And I already know that that this will be an amazing pair of jeans, that this, this is an amazing jacket, and that, that this is an amazing shirt. 
I mean, outside of telling you that perhaps this, this fit doesn't work for me or this denim is just not my thing, and of course explaining why, there's only going to be showering praise and positivity. Or at least, I fucking hope so after having recorded and edited all of this. So these reviews, there's going to be, there's going to be four in total. They're going to be honest reviews, definitely, but they're also going to be positive. Right, no denim today, I'm afraid, apart from that, this. Apart from a little bit of a tease. No real in-depth look at any denim today, but I think it was important that I get this off my chest. These reviews are going to roll out over the next six, seven weeks as the, the pieces come into the new collection from Benzac. And we're going to be looking at the, the individual pieces, we're going to be looking at the denim they're made from, and we're going to be talking a little bit about, about what that means for the brand and the, the development of Benzite Denim Developers. So, if you're into this and you're not already, then just consider hitting that subscribe button. Next to that, there's going to be the bell notification icon, and you can hit that so you're going to get notified when these videos actually drop. And yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed this, if, if you're into raw denim, if you're into salvage denim, and you would like to support the channel, if you give us one of those thumbs up, that would be really awesome. It does... It really does help us grow. And until then, guys, as always, I hope everyone is happy and healthy out there. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I hope you're taking care of each other. And I'm going to see you in the next video.